This program was brought to you by PennyMac TPO and Power Plus, their next generation broker portal that gives you more speed and control over the process. You can now disclose, lock, and manage your loan seamlessly from start to finish, all in one place. It's another reason why greatness lives here. Welcome to The Interest, I'm Katie Jensen. Well, it's happening again, more layoffs. Carrington Mortgage Solutions in California told staff Monday to pack up their things. Sources we spoke to worry it's a sign the company might close its wholesale division altogether. In this month's edition of National Mortgage Professional, we took a look at why this is happening. Our own Mike Savino has more. Let's take a look at what he found. Uh, scorched, scorch everyone else. <laughs> When United Wholesale Mortgage lowered their rates this summer, it put the squeeze on the rest of the wholesale channel. But that seems to be the point. They want to, you know, basically they want to be the number one wholesale and uh, lender in, in, in the country. And it's working. Top rival Rocket responded by offering a rate buy down. Meanwhile, companies like Amerisaves, Loan Depot and Mountain West Financial have all left the channel altogether. And others, like HomePoint, are scaling back on staff in order to absorb the drop in business. That That is happening, but it's not really on the cost structure. It's on the revenue side of things. A UWM executive told us that the company doesn't want to drive out competition, but independent analyst Kevin Heal points to comments from UWM's CEO Matt Ishbia. Things like there being no such thing as friendly competition. I, I think the uh, company and is, is, is happy about you know, putting others out of, out of out of business in order to capture more market share. Heal says companies with less capital are really going to continue to struggle, but some are trying to differentiate themselves with other products, like non-qualified mortgages. In the non-QM space, it's about expertise and the ability to close these loans. One big reason non-QM customers aren't focused on getting the lowest rate. In fact, these borrowers often expect their rates to be higher. You know, they want to buy this house in this neighborhood, and you know maybe they've been turned down by an agency lender. Unfortunately, Heal says the price war will likely have more casualties before it's over. It's it's, it, it's a tough call, and I think that's why we've seen you know probably a, you know almost you know ten you know publicly announced mortgage companies, and we'll I'm sure we'll see more that are just closing up and closing up shop. You can read more about the impact of the wholesale price war in this month's issue of NMP Magazine, available now at nmpmag.com. For the Mortgage News Network, I'm Mike Savino. Thanks, Mike. The Federal Reserve approved another 75-point hike on Wednesday, and the housing market continues to be one of the things that the Open Market Committee wants to get under control. Um, you know, I would say housing uh, was the housing market was was very overheated for the couple of years after the pandemic as demand increased and rates were low. Uh, we all know the stories of how, how overheated the housing market was, prices going up, many, many bidders, um, uh, no conditions, that kind of thing. So the housing market needs to get back into a, a, a balance between supply and demand. An economist for the National Association of Realtors says it was expected and is baked into current rates. He also says inflation relief can come from a bump in inventory. Powell says he understands the rate hikes are having an impact on the housing market, but he does think the market is in a better place than it was in 2008. We didn't see in this cycle the kinds of um, poor credit underwriting that we saw before the global financial crisis. Housing credit was, uh, was very carefully, much more carefully managed by the lenders. That doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. And unfortunately, we have more layoff news coming up after the break. Don't miss the largest regional mortgage show in the nation. The New England Mortgage Expo returns to Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, January 12th and 13th. See us at www.anymortgageexpo.com. Start your year with the best connections in the industry. Dozens of sessions, scores of exhibitors. It's where success is written every hour. www.anymortgageexpo.com. Welcome back. With mortgage originations down and rates and prices staying high, we keep seeing cuts. We'll start with Promontory Mortgage Path, which is shutting its doors altogether. The Connecticut-based company worked with credit unions and other financial institutions to offer mortgages. The company has not yet announced a date for closure, and it's not clear how many employees are impacted. The company says this is the result of an unprecedented shift in the mortgage market. Then there's Carrington Mortgage. 
a recording was shared with MN staff last night announcing the layoffs of at least 18 staff members within the wholesale division. However, Carrington has refused to comment on the total number of layoffs. And finally, San Francisco-based Open Door is laying off 550 people. That amounts to 18% of the staff at the company, which buys and sells homes online. CEO Eric said in a blog post Wednesday that this is the result of what he called one of the most difficult markets in 40 years. He also wrote that Open Door cut its staff by 830 positions prior to layoffs, mostly by reducing third-party resourcing. We'll be right back with what else is interesting today. This program was brought to you by PennyMac TPO and Power Plus, their next generation broker portal. Visit tpo.pennymac.com to sign up. Welcome back. Here's what else is interesting today. The country's supply of homes for sale hit its highest mark since 2020. Active listings increased by more than 33% year over year, according to Realtor.com. However, October data suggests that fewer shoppers could afford to take advantage of the rise in available inventory, with time on the market continuing to climb amid still high listing prices. Meanwhile, both newly listed homes and pending listings declined year over year. For more on these and all of today's top stories, visit MortgageNewsNetwork.com.